Now, luckily, you don't even need to create a sitemap in Shopify because it's already there. You can check it by going to your browser and typing yourdomain.com slash sitemap.xml. Obviously, change the yourdomain.com to your actual domain name. And there you go. You should see this page with some XML stuff in it. If you see this, this is good. We can now submit the sitemap in Google Search Console. Tip sweat punch. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and on this channel, I focus on e commerce tutorials and tool reviews. So, the first step is to head to Google Search Console. And if you don't have an account there yet, then check out this five minute video where I show you how to get the account and also verify that you own the domain. So, I'm here in my Google Search Console. Let's just start by navigating to sitemaps here on the left. And then, okay, let me close these pop ups. And then here in the URL, just enter the sitemap. So in this case, it's yourdomainname.com slash sitemap.xml. And then just submit it. And it will tell you immediately that the submission is done. And in case you get this error, couldn't fetch, then all you have to do is you can wait it out, wait a couple of days, it might disappear. If it doesn't, then you can do the following. You just go to your sitemap and then start grabbing the URLs here. So you see, there are these locations here. So you just grab the whole URL, copy it and back to sitemaps. I already added them here, but basically you would paste them here one by one. And then it actually works. You see here success. This is how I kind of fix the issue. A sitemap is super important part of Search Console and SEO in general, but there are a lot of other useful features that Google provides us. And some of them are pretty hidden. Check out this Google Search Console tutorial to get a good grasp of how to use this tool to full potential.